I'm Joe Anselmo, Aviation Week's Editor-in-Chief, and I'm here in Farnborough with Jens Flotow, our Managing Editor for Commercial Aviation, and the two of us just got off a one-hour flight of the Ember Air E2 jet. Jens, how was it? Well, I mean, the cabin is very similar to the uh, E1 cabin, except there's the bins are larger, so you can fit lo much uh, larger uh, uh, carry-ons in there with tro trolleys. Uh, and, I mean, I, I don't know about you, but I've, I thought it was very, very quiet. Yeah, it was, I was sitting in row five right next to the engine when we took off, and it was amazingly quiet. I was really impressed by that. I've heard them say it many times, but I actually got to witness it. It's true. There were some other amenities they say are coming, you know, uh, advanced Wi-Fi system. Um, the seats are obviously different, thinner, and it gives the airlines more options. But uh, is, is it the biggest selling point of this aircraft is that it is the economics for airlines? It's the, uh, yeah, I mean, Embraer has obviously uh, done a lot of redesign here. 75% uh, of the parts are new, uh, new wings, new engines, cockpit is uh, up, much upgraded, almost a new aircraft. And yeah, the economics are what counts. Uh, fuel burn is much lower than on the E1. So uh, what's the number, Joe? It's 15%? Uh, it, it's a... It, through the engines, there's a 12% gain in fuel burn, and then if you add in all the aerodynamic improvements, it bumps it up to 16%. Yeah, okay. So that obviously is uh, highly attractive, uh, especially now that uh, fuel prices are going up again slowly, uh, so airlines will appreciate that. And I, and I, I should not uh, omit that the backdrop to all this is that just before the air show, Embraer and Boeing signed an agreement in principle where Boeing will acquire an 80% stake in Embraer's commercial business. So when we come back here in two years, this might not be called the E2 anymore. No, it might not. And, uh, but also in two years, we'll be uh, uh, in the position to, tell, to judge uh, how the competition between the E2 and the A220 has played out. Uh, obviously, the A220 has gained a, uh, given, been, been given a major boost by uh, Airbus, uh, the sales power and so on. So, It'll be an interesting two years coming up. A220, it's going to take me a while to yeah, get used too. to that. Me but too. anyway, so uh, we're having a great time, great start to the air show.